Hey guys, so today I wanted to speak on drop servicing and um, kind of just outsourcing work, how it works and why it's really important, especially if you're going to be an entrepreneur to have workers for you and just how to kind of manage them and how to deal with them. So you're basically going to be finding these people on Fiverr, online jobs at PH and be connecting with them, messaging them, talking to them. Um, or like on Fiverr, you just place an order and then you can talk to them. Um, but yeah, you're basically just want to, you want to like just mention what you guys, what you're doing, what you need them for and um, what exactly they have to do. And if you give them clear instructions on what to do and uh, give them like a number of amount of things to do, amount of products to post or um, amount of like Instagram stories to post, um, you can kind of leverage them as your business, um, especially for like a service-based business where you're drop servicing, you're drop servicing the fiber workers and um, having them do your drop servicing business. You're just kind of uh, getting the clients basically. Your job as an entrepreneur is to get the sales, get the clients, and um, you wanna be kind of outsourcing anything you can to save you time. Because if you don't, then you're going to be kind of overloaded with stuff to do as a business owner. So you definitely want to be outsourcing uh, the repetitive tasks that you don't need to be doing yourself. For example, you can outsource your products, posting them. You can outsource your um, social media accounts, have people run them for you. Um, you can outsource, you hire people to run the Instagrams or the Facebook or whatever. And um, you have a social media marketing agency out of it. And um, you can do this for pretty much anything, right? Anything that they have on Fiverr as a service, you can um, drop service and sell it yourself with a different brand, a different spin on it, sell it for a lot more. And then you're gonna be outsourcing the work to your fiber workers or your um your online jobs at ph guy or i don't know you're, you're basically me talking to these people on like messenger and whatsapp and um kind of telling them what to do and you're running you're you're kind of managing them virtually so you're not gonna necessarily um be there to like guide him and like watch every step he's doing and like kind of just be over his shoulder like a boss would and like a company but you can manage them pretty easily on the internet and um a lot of times like um they'll like they'll fix it to make sure they get paid right and um once you find like a couple workers that are like really good to you and they are consistent they're doing what you want them to do and um you got a nice little system going where they're saving you time. You're giving them money for it and you're saving yourself time in the process. Um, it's going to be working out very great. Like even just like door dashing or Uber eating some food, that's basically hiring an assistant to do work for you that saves you time. And that's a good way to save some time as well. Just like using DoorDash, get, get a Dash Pass subscription, save time. Like on going to the store and getting the food um but yeah guys i mean it's not too complicated just kind of tell them what to do it's it's hard to get started and like find find the right guy but once you do that can be your go-to guy for any sort of work you want outsourced and you can just tell them what you want done show them a little video on how to do it if they need it um that's usually recommended just show them like how you want them to post your Instagram stories or whatever. But you can really um, use other people's skills and leverage them to where you're making money from them. And um, the way you do that is just sell sell the skills, sell it as a package, sell it as um, something people would pay a lot of money for and um, upcharge it. And you're making the money from the sale minus the expense of the worker and the rest of that is profit 
And yeah, guys, um, drop servicing has a lot of potential. Um, it's definitely um, harder than just normal drop shipping, but you make a lot of money with it and you can really start like scaling whatever you're doing and drop servicing is great because you don't have to deal with any of the shipping stuff you kind of just have to deal with the client more make sure it's a mutual benefit for both of you guys to where they're not going to back out and ask for a refund and yeah i wish you guys the best of luck with that start a drop shipping company drop servicing company my bad and um yeah start making some money all right peace out guys like the video and subscribe comment if you're new peace